Dead Workers Party on Smite, episode 22, recorded on October 4th, 2013. I'm Brent Copeland. I am Wes Wilson. And I am Afro Monkey. Well, you're just becoming a regular. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or something. So this is the uh, number one or two or three show on Smite uh, podcast. Uh, glad you tuned in live every week after we do our other shows at deadworkers.com slash live. And this week, you may have noticed we are missing our our cohort, Eric Flirton, who's off um, taking care of some family business. I'm, and, right, uh, I'm, I'm right here. Oh, hey, Eric. How's it going? Hey. That was horrible. I know. Do it again. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> Very oh. bad. <laughs> so we did want to give a quick shout out to Semi Pro Joe, who sent us seven cases of Monster uh, Rehab and Monster Green, and we appreciate that from uh, Monster and Monster Gaming and Semi Pro Joe. Thank you very much. Um, big, big fun. I'm uh, I'm cranked out like four of these, so I'm a little. Uh, uh, wired, so forgive me a little bit. Woo, love it. We may the show may be a fast one, <laughs> just like Mercury, who we'll get to later. Yes, uh, I played him a bit this week and and uh, had fun with him. Um, we had uh, some fun matches where we had pings galore, and we'll get to that later on why that was happening. <laughs> yes, it's very interesting, actually. And uh, they've got a charity going on right now. Well, we're going to talk about that. And, of course, we'll talk about Mercury. So wh- what have you guys been doing this week? Well, for the most part, I've been playing another game. <laughs> <laughs> so really? You're going to come down here and do the show on Smite and talk about Euro Trash. <laughs> but I did play some Smite yesterday, and I got so frustrated. Uh-oh. Why? Um, of the three matches that I played and after the third match I just flipped the table and started playing something else Um, but out of the three matches two of them were just filled with people whining about kill stealing Uh, it's the worst and to the point where the first match two people disconnected because they said that I had stolen their kills Yeah. Uh. and one of them I was running back to base everybody was running back because they were pushing hard and I see that this guy is behind me and he's about to die. So I turn around and root the person that's attacking him. And that person had a sliver of health left. So I fire another arrow, kill him and run into the base. And I see a message popped up, uh, pop up going, Neath just stole my kill. I totally had him. Like you just died. Like you literally died (laughs) as I was rooting him. And I fired again and killed him. Yeah. That's not a, kill still that's you dying and me trying to save you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah is, and, is, is it arena yes see to me arena it's just silly if you say it's a kill steal like especially i mean come on neath's ability is all about sniping yeah yeah so and i don't i don't complain when i've attacked somebody got them really low and they start running and i set up for the snipe and then all of a sudden um What's his name? Swoopy guy. Kills people. Thanatos. Yes. I don't complain when he swoops down and, and kills him. Yeah. Because I'm like, yay, we got a kill. We're getting further ahead. Yeah. yeah. Why would you complain when I'm using my special ability to snipe people so we can get more points off of their score so we can win? Yeah. yeah. Eric and I were in a game that uh, sounds similar to that. We're just playing, and uh, I was playing Zeus. Um and I'm running back to base, but I'd hit people with like lightning bolts, and and uh, my my three pops up, which ignites the lightning bolts, and I hit it, and I see you know you got a kill, and some guy starts crying uh, to some other guy like, hey, you you stole my kill, and the guy's like, I didn't get the kill, I and and uh, they're like, it must have been Zeus, and I'm like, I like I'm not even looking at the fight, you know, I'm not yeah. even running over there like. It, it's not intentional, but we got to kill. Yeah. Let's be happy. And and in this game, before people started leaving, it was even it was funnier because I would run up and they'd be, you know, dogpiling one particular god, and I'd run up and root him so he couldn't move, so they can continue to do damage to him, and somebody else would get the kill. But the only name that was dropped for steel killing in the entire match was yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. You think it was racial? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I mean, it's kind of a silly thing anyway. I mean, the whole goal is for you to point all your damage at this at similar people. I mean, you know, is it? I mean, if there's three of you on somebody, are you st- kill stealing? It doesn't. Yeah, uh, I mean, okay, it took three of you to get him down low enough to kill him. Yeah. So who who's the person still killing? Right. The person that runs in at the last minute to root him so he can't get away, or the three that have been hammering him? Yeah. For Lord knows how long. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just silly. Silly, silly. I mean, the, the truth of the matter is, is that if you're worried about kill stealing, then you're not playing as a team. Yeah. yeah. Every and, kill that your team gets is a benefit to you. And, and and the other frustrating part about this particular match is they just charged in over and over again and died. Mm-hmm. So I'm in the middle clearing minions, you know, getting set up, getting some gold so I can get some equipment to actually to where I can get to where I can kill some people. And I see all my teammates run past me straight into them. And I'm like still standing there going, it was me and Fenrir in the back clearing minions and everybody else would run in and die. And then they're like, well, why aren't you supporting us? And me and Fenrir are like, why are you (laughs) running into the midst of them and dying? That is stupid. Why do you keep doing that? And after the third time, I'm just like, these people are insane yeah it's like not only are they not helping with minions like it's and i think part of it is actually game mechanics is i don't think they explain it well enough to people to know that these minions matter if they get through the gate yeah like it, at least i i want to believe that in my soul <laughs> because otherwise these people are just stupid well i mean the fact that each minion that goes through is a point and if you clear a wave of minions it's a point yeah. against them right so it's like yeah, it's not as important, but it's still important because there's been many of matches I've won just by sitting there clearing minions. Yeah. No, there's what? Seven minions in a wave? Yeah. So that's worth more than a kill. Yeah. You know, if they get those minions in, they didn't need to kill you. They just got seven points. Yeah. You know, so, and you didn't get one point, right? Yeah. So it's really eight points difference in that game for them. So it's, to me, it that shows it's more important than kills to clear the minions and keep them out of the game. Yeah. yeah. Especially early in the game. Later in the game when either, you know, one side starts dominating and you can afford to go in and, and attack. And if you lose some points, it's bad, but you can recover from it. But, Early in the game, when it's kind of even and everybody's kind of even, Steven, in regards of equipment, you might want to get those easy points by clearing minion waves yeah. and getting your minions into and the And you game. get money for it. You get money for it. And additionally, if your minions are, are pushing forward to the other side because you've wiped out the enemy minions, then you're helping on your push because yeah. they're going to have to stop and deal with your minions at their gate. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I see the kill, the kill stealing stuff a lot, and it's it's really above and beyond silly it i mean it was because i had taken a break from playing smite and i i come back and literally the first match that i play yeah i'm over and over again being accused of kill stealing i had four kills the entire match yeah four i couldn't have possibly stolen as many kills <laughs> as they accused me of stealing. yeah, yeah. Kill stealing. It's silly. So tell me about Bacchus, Wes. What's going on with him? Well, I mean, everybody complains about playing tanks. So I was like, okay, fine. I like playing Bacchus. I'll, I'll start tanking him. And, you know, usually when I play him, a lot of times somebody else was playing a tank. I just was trying to level up Bacchus. So I would go magical power and try to, you know, do lots of burping and lots of lots of drunkenness stuff. Yeah. Um, but I've been, I like focusing on tank with him. And uh, in a lot of ways, I'm, I'm really happy with him. I feel like he's got some, some good moves for messing with people. I can kind of get in and out. And I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm really enjoying him. He's, I, I, I mean, it would be nice if I was, if I felt I had a lot more direct damage, but I think people are afraid of the burp more than it's damage deserves well and it's that stun i think yeah it's it's the and you don't need damage you're a tank right like so uh you know people are scared of the the booze i i I realized because i had never been burped on by bacchus before i did the snipe and it does alter your aim it's hard to to aim the snipe and i'm sitting there going i was so confused (laughs) by why I couldn't aim that I got killed because I was confused. Yeah. <laughs> well, also... use that strategy. The burp uh, on the end, like, 
you know, there's the big splash of booze and that will disorient you and all that kind of stuff. It also like makes it so you don't heal as well. Um, But also the burp has a small like one second stun at the end of it. So like if somebody's trying to run away, I can burp as I'm following them and then I'll get that one second stun and then whoever's running with me can catch up and kill them. Yeah. And and I really like that. And I'm having fun with it. You know what they call that? What? Teamwork. Yes. Teamwork. I should be mad they're stealing my kills. <laughs> <laughs> should hit him on the in the face with a chair. I'll yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should get WWE chair. on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get some smite news. The first thing we have here is is it's going on right now and uh actually when the show airs uh, it will be gone, so we'll get to this first. The challenge for charity, it's going on right now at Siege, and it'll be going on, uh, I believe, all weekend long. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, yeah. It's a, actually, I think it's 24 hours. I think it's ending right right when the um, when the creatures thing is going on. When the creature, like, that's the tail end of it. Yeah. So... So they they say here the Smite Challenge for Charity is going live right now for over 24 hours. We will be raising money for Child's Play. Watch the stream for high res shenanigans with our very special guest, the Creatures Team Digitas, and uh, which I think they misspelled, but oh well. And Denial Esports North America. So uh, take a look at that. You can go to uh, SmiteGame.com and uh, click on the link there. And that's for you folks in the live chat room. Uh, we also had a another stat from the uh, devs this, this week, which was where people spend their time in Smite. There's two images. One is for time spent in matches, and one is for matches played. What do y'all think uh, is the most popular match? It's Conquest. Without Con- looking. You jerks. You I cheaters. did. I looked. I clicked it before you even... It's got to be Conquest. I, yeah. I mean, I knew it would be Conquest. And second to that, looks like Arena. Yeah. Yeah. I can I can see that. Then Assault. I'm actually surprised that Jow's 3v3 is almost up there with Assault. Yeah, really? I am too. Uh, and then all the rest kind of combined together to equal what Arena is. And yeah. that's the map of the day, or match of the day, Domination and Conquest Solo Master. I'm kind of surprised how tiny Domination is. I mean... I never play it anymore unless we get like a wild hair, and I don't yeah. really know why. Like, and I actually have to suggest it to people. Like, why don't we, why don't we just play a match of, of Domination? Because yeah. it's been forever since I've played one. Well, I mean, I know that when I'm solo queuing, I'll queue for Arena or Assault because they're quicker and because I feel like they're geared for solo joining in with other people stuff. Yeah. Whereas Domination feels a little more team oriented, but like I love playing it with friends. Yeah. You know? And I've, I I, think it was last week I played a couple of matches of Domination and the first one, my client bugged out and I couldn't, couldn't buy skills, couldn't buy equipment, couldn't shoot. Yeah. For 10 minutes. <laughs> and my team was very understanding. And finally, yeah. one guy goes, oh, I've had that happen to me before. Just, you know, terminate the task yeah, and start the game back up and you should be able to do everything. Yeah. And I'm like, why didn't you say that 10 minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Now, the odd difference here is the time spent in match and it's really weird because these charts look almost identical. Uh, and I, I guess this is actually talking about um, like the time spent playing that match. Yeah. It's actually less for Conquest and more for Arena. Yeah. Which I guess a lot of people like give up. Because Conquest to me seems like a longer game. But I guess more people know when yeah. it's time to get out of there and you know the enemy push all the way to your phoenixes and you know what's well, going to happen next well and that's just like i notice on some on some of the conquest matches i've played like you'll get your team will be one kill behind and somebody will go surrender yeah i mean like it isn't even like a significant advantage and people will be like no we're already losing quit it and i imagine that that goes on on all tiers yeah and like in arena unless you're like really 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 down you're more likely to stick it out because there's a chance you can swing it back in your direction yeah yeah or um, if like in conquest if you're 
if you get pushed all the way back to your base, I mean, we've had matches where we've finagled it just yeah. by pushing one lane and then everybody going in that one lane and killing the Minotaur while they're all dead. Yeah. But it's seldom in... A cheese match. Yeah. Some cheese, yeah. And most of the time you can kind of tell when you're laning, like, oh, well, you've already fed this guy five times in this lane. That's not going to be good. Yeah. Uh, and so surrender. So... Uh, that's interesting stuff. You can find it on the Reddit, of course. Uh, also, this week there was a new patch, Mercury Messenger of the Gods. He is the uh, fastest god alive. Uh, that's his passive too, which for every one foot traveled, Mercury gains 0.1 percent physical power bonus on his next basic attack with a max of 50 percent. He also gains additional physical power equal to 20 percent of movement speed for items. So, so basically, when he comes back into the battle, his first hit will be really powerful. Yeah, I mean, did, does uh, you've played him, Brent? I haven't. Yeah. It. Did did you find yourself like running around trying to build that up at all? No, no, not purposefully. No. Yeah, it's actually uh, to me. It's it's. There's kind of a confusing gauge, which is it. There's a gauge that goes from zero to a hundred, which I don't really get why a hundred if it goes to fifty percent. Yeah. But maybe that's a hundred percent of fifty percent. But <laughs> when you run, it goes up, and if you stop, it stops moving. So obviously, that's the gauge. Yeah, uh, and it always just seemed to be full by the time I got anywhere. Anyway, but uh, I didn't notice it go get, away awesome. like when I was beating people. Hmm. But it, the first match we played was a, a joust against bots, and you know it, it was pretty sad because they're bots and bots suck. Yeah. Uh, and and I really liked them, and then I played like an arena, and I really didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I I think I do like him, and I think more play. Um, we'll get the tactics for. I mean, there's some some interesting things he can do, and stuff like that. I actually posted on the forums this week about um uh oh what was it i just completely lost my train of thought <laughs> um but anyway uh back to mercury he also has um his powers are made you look which his first one is a uh he moves in a blink of eye and de deals melee attack damage to every enemy within a target area uh, and it's kind of cool because it's basically like a ranged attack because yeah. he, he puts a little circle and then does an AOE. It doesn't do much damage uh, unless you have a bunch of people there and then it, it kind of stacks up nicely. And each one of those is considered a melee hit. So if he's built up his fastest god alive, that stacks. It says here on Major Look, it said one melee attack to each enemy. So if you build it all up and you can hit all five of them, that's like five max charge melee attacks at once. That's and then uh, the next one is sense. maximum velocity, where Mercury increases his attack speed, uh, ignoring slow and rude effects for the duration. Uh, that's a nice one. Um, and someone pointed out on the forums that when you use this, it, it does your attack speed so much that you will probably max out your movement speed way before you realize it. Yeah. Like, you'll probably be using this in fights and stuff, so they're, like, saying that maybe Fatalis isn't the best choice for him and things like that. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll take uh, time with that. Uh, the next one is Special Delivery, where Mercury dashes forward, knocking aside minions, grabbing the first enemy god, and he starts spinning, and then he can throw the, the god in, in any direction uh, he wants, and that's a fun one. Like, I liked... Um the last match I played, which actually was a pretty decent match this week, um, there was a Mercury on each team, and our Mercury kept doing that attack, spinning around and throwing the person directly towards me, yeah. and I would root him, and then everybody would jump on him. <laughs> and then you would st steal the yes, kill. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I, think, I, I think that was the plan. <laughs> like the, I think this team wanted me to steal the kills. I kind of felt it down deep down in my heart. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love that attack because it, it, I, it spins around, they get, they're stunned and when it throws them, it's kind of like a uh, Sobek yeah. throwing them back. And that's why I like it so much. And I, I just love that attack. 
when I'm playing Neath, then I can root him and then kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and then his ultimate is the Sonic Boom is n- number four, and basically he can run for a long distance. It's uh, when it's maxed out, it, it's uh, 500 uh, damage, uh, but uh, it goes up 500 feet, which I don't know if you have if y'all haven't played him yet it's pretty much all the way across arena yeah like and he just dashes across and he will stop if he hits walls and stuff but if he hits players he'll just knock him aside Uh, but it's it's pretty fun is arena even more than 500 feet it may be i'm trying to think how far he could run uh you know like in joust it was pretty much all the way down the field yeah all the way you know and joust is definitely longer than the arena feel to yeah so, so it seems so pretty dang far your major op- obstacle is walls yeah walls and towers <laughs> you want to stay away from those <laughs> so with mercury they also added in some new skins uh, mercury's quicksilver and the golden agni and nija uh voice packs for mercury and a- arachne were also included uh there was a ton of other changes like uh, a bunch of new items some of them were actually suggested by the community uh when they asked for items in a thread and there's a there's a ton of them like when i play now i like start doing builds where i'm trying to get all the new items (laughs) (laughs) and just silly stuff yeah they they also changed the way that the classes are organized they're now assassin warrior guardian mage and hunter yeah um and this is, I think, part of the change with Assault uh, to try to even things up and make it fair. It now picks one of each of those classes for both teams. So yeah. nice. it, uh, it's supposed to be more even, uh, and it is, um, but I don't know. I, <laughs> It's weird. Like People have been kind of asking for this, but now that we've got it, I almost like it better the old way. I don't know why. Well, it's not really ARAM anymore, is it? I no, mean, it's a whole new yeah. map type. It's, but I... I I do like not being screwed by totally yeah. random. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, like when you are screwed and then you pull it out, that's so much fun. <laughs> Wes loves it when he gets screwed and pulls it out. <laughs> oh, God. It is so much fun. Hey, you're the one that, anyway, but when you when you pull out a win, I mean, come on, you know, when I you're get, like. And I get that, but there's been rare times where I've, it's been just a total like. Oh wait! They gave us all healers and like Odin. Yeah, and I and we've managed to pull it out. Yeah, so I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I it, you know I mean I guess you know it maybe there still needs to be you know an ARAM of some kind or maybe they should make it to where um, you can set it. Yeah, like. Well, you can't really do custom matches because you don't really get worshippers or anything for custom matches. But yeah. some way to play it still just totally random. Yeah. Maybe make a an assault too. Yeah. <laughs> You're just saying yeah now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and another big change for this patch that uh, has people all in a tither on the forums is the movement of the space key, which used to be the uh, free look for mouse, or free mouse has been moved to the alt key and in the patch they just say uh the spacebar will be moved to other functionality later now on the on the reddit they've been assuming this means we're going to be getting jump in the game and uh reading threads i've seen comments from people hating this idea uh to people loving this idea um me i'm a lover of the idea like one of the first things i did in the game was try to jump yeah because it's to me it's a ux design thing it's like that's what spacebar is in 3d games and mmos and anything where i am a character and this is me that's how you jump yeah and so when you get in the game and you do it and your mouse starts moving around it's it's awkward and and i have to admit even to this day i will sit there and hit the space bar and i'm like why do i keep hitting it i know i'm not gonna jump (laughs) (laughs) but and like people were saying it's just fun it's just fun to jump like why not jump and the only detractors i saw were saying that it was useless and that only trolls would use it to sit there and jump instead of play well there's plenty of things for trolls to do 
Exactly. Yeah. Now. yeah. Like so, it wouldn't taunt. be any different. They'll sit there yeah. and taunt. They'll sit there oh, and joke. Oh, oh my God! I had played a match where a guy basically on my team used help constantly throughout the match. <laughs> <laughs> he would be back in the base and help, and I'm like. So whenever he was running and he'd say it, and it was obvious that he really was in trouble, yeah. I would run in a different direction. <laughs> uh, Boy, you cry wolf. Yeah, it's true. Also, they've uh, changed the skill screen, K, um, so that, like, let's say that you're not familiar with the god you're playing. Mm-hmm. You can hit K, and you'll get a very detailed layout of the god you're playing and what they can do. Sweet. That's really nice. Yeah. I was impressed. Uh, and there's a uh, bunch of other changes, of course. Uh, SmiteGame.com, you can get the full story there. Now, one of the changes uh, we'll also talk about here is uh, they added in pinging uh, for wards. So when people place wards in the, the uh, jungle or wherever, if an enemy comes by it, it'll ping and let you know on the map. Uh, so it really makes uh, them more valuable. I would say wards, right? Yeah. And I, a lot of people are, seem to be upset about this. Uh, and I think it's kind of coming from the law mentality that, that like when there's a ward there, it's, mu- it's much easier to look at them. Ma- like in law, it, the good players, I feel almost look at the map more than they do the actual what's right. in front of them. Because knowing where everybody is is such a big deal in the game. It's, yeah. You know when to push towers. You know when you need to get out of somewhere. All these things. So you see people walking into wards much faster. Yeah. Because you're looking at it the whole time. I find myself almost never looking at maps I, in, it, in um, Smite. Sometimes yeah. I look at the map, but that's if I'm playing a conquest, which I rarely these days get a chance to play a conquest. Um, I look at the map because usually I'm laning either by myself or with one other person Mm -hmm. when they're going back and I'm not really pushing. I'm getting a little bit outside of the range of the tower. Right. But I'm checking the map to see where everybody is. So when someone inevitably comes over to jump me, I know who to call for help from. Right. Uh, And I know if they're if my lane partner is close or if somebody is going to be there to save me because... Usually, I'm paying a character that's paper thin and will die. Right, right. Well, and the other thing, and so I think the reason why this makes sense in this type of game is you can't see all around you. Yeah. So you can't, if you have a ward behind you, you can't see it unless you look at the map. Do you really want a game where they want you looking at the map the whole time? The map should be helpful. Yeah. But. You know what? If they could do something with game mechanics to actually take the map out completely, that's what I would want. Well, like it, it, some, it doesn't really make sense. Why do we have a map where we can see? I mean, okay, we're God. Whatever. You can pretty yeah. much make anything work. But uh, no, it, it goes both ways. But there's certain game mechanics, like in Domination, knowing which tower is taken without looking up at the sky and seeing that column of light. It's helpful. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I agree. It's, it's so, helpful. But... Again, like you were saying, it's not really necessary, but right. it's, it is it is helpful to have information. But I do like pinging the, uh, the wards because a lot of times people, I always forget to buy wards and put yeah. them out. And now but, it makes more sense, yeah. right? But even when people, even when I would put them out or someone else would put them out, I wouldn't think to look in that direction to see if there's anybody coming to gank me. Right. And right. that would at least remind me, hey, someone's running by a ward. Maybe I should turn around and see if I'm going to die. <laughs> exactly. And an unintended, I won't call it a bug, but an unintended feature of this new mechanic was the fact that, um, and we, uh, let me preface this because we actually experienced this <laughs> and we could not figure out what the crap was going on. We're yeah. playing Assault and there's just pings going off. We're like, no one buys wards. Like, yeah. That doesn't make sense. Ping, 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 ping. We thought it, it might be us dying. Yeah. <laughs> it's like happens someone dies or when the tower's taken and we're just like, <laughs> no clue. Like, <laughs> over our heads. Yep. Nothing. So uh, I kind of did some investigation today. Apparently, Artemis's traps and um Neith's, um probably needs glowy things or yeah. whatever but also arachne's eggs 
all trigger like wards because when someone sees so they ping as well so <laughs> we, we had a match where both of them were yep. on our team and so it's just like ping ping it's just ping, annoying ping. like eric was about to flip out like his oc <laughs> i mean it was it was bad well and it would be really bad with neith because it's not just when she backflips whenever she witnesses someone die it creates one so if you wipe their entire team, that'll be five of them created right yeah. there if she can see all of them. Why? Wait, Neith gets a ward every time somebody dies? And she sees it. Wow. Now, I thought they changed her things to not be wards anymore, though. Uh, as far as I know, they still are. But still- I... I, I that might have changed. That yeah. might have changed. Cause I know it used to be like that, but I remember in some patch they made someone's ability no longer be able to ward yeah and that's the only one i can think of because i know artemis is still do yeah um but that would be raining. horrible because if you wipe their entire team that's five yeah right and it would just now somebody goes there and like five pings <laughs> wow that's <sucks. laughs> so they did address it in the on the reddit uh saying that they right now they think they're going to put in an option for you to turn it on and off okay so i hope it's like on off per like because see the thing is like on conquest i think that would be a good thing yeah. right uh then you could use them as wards in in the jungle and stuff it's just in some areas i don't know just to me it's just like it just it, turn it off in assault and arena yeah done like it, why would i need i can see pretty much everything except behind those walls yeah why would i need that yeah yeah uh, let's see. So I think we pretty much hit all the news topics. We did get some mail in today. I did see one other thing in news. What? what we They're going to redo Hell's skin. Hell's skin. They're going to take Hell and redo her model. Are they going to make a New Year's edition of it? I don't know. I think they're going to make her a stripper and have like a pole go float <laughs> around with yeah. her the whole time. Is she going to like spin around? Like, yes. Uh, do pole tricks? Yes. <laughs> That's only when she's in her dark form, though. <laughs> when she's in her light form, she will be, uh, I don't know, something funny. <laughs> Laugh here. So if you're a Hell fan, look for the poll. You can clap. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. You heard it here first. Okay, so we did get a uh, call in uh, this week. It's kind of hard to hear, so uh, perk up those ears. Hello, this is Axelman. I just wanted to say great show on Smite. I love watching it every week. But I wanted to say something. I want to teleport attack. What I mean by that is when you press B to go home, if someone times it perfectly, and they get in your ring without hitting you, and you teleport, the attack comes with you. And so if it's Drow Kong, you said you're dragging, but it doesn't reach him in time, but he teleports and it's in that ring then it can come out the other side. So in someone like your teammate, when you teleported, the Owl Kwong dragon will come and maybe possibly kill him the way it was aimed. Again, great show. Thank you. Absolutely hang off. Bye. Okay, so just to clarify, if you if you couldn't uh, make that out, basically what he's saying is someone's teleporting to go home. If you like do an attack and you get it into the ring around where they're teleporting, uh, that it would go through to the teleport and still activate on them when they get back. Um, personally, that's one of my most fun things is escaping crap and getting yeah. back. So that would kind of annoy me on I, that I, end I, of it. I will it. take that suggestion off for my own. Instead of, if someone jumps you and you're teleporting... Like if Fenrir jumps in and starts attacking you and you actually manage to teleport before he hits you, I think you should take Fenrir with you back to your base so he can die by your towers. And that may happen. I know for a while there it would happen with Loki. If Loki mm. uh, did I've his ultimate and landed on someone while they were teleporting, if he caught it in the exact second, he would be well, back I in didn't their base. Even, I, I've never seen that. So they either fixed it or it hasn't happened in a while to me, they but I... They should unfix I, it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right? Like, you get through there. I, I want there to be consequences for him thinking he can take me down when I'm teleporting. <laughs> well, but on the conversely, I would hope that maybe if someone's alive in your base room, that maybe you don't get healing until everyone's dead. Yeah. Because, I mean, pretty much them running into your base... Unless they're super, super tanky. 
yeah. they're gonna die pretty fast anyway right yeah. but maybe they can get to the their kill like so it's like, like a one for one yeah like, yeah bang. like i don't mind dying as long as someone dies with me <laughs> <laughs> yeah um on that though i mean kind of well i have to say that neath snipe not with teleport but um i have seen with thanatos going up in the air doing that because he knows i'm about to snipe him i fired he went up in the air and it followed him all the way down so when he landed it killed him yeah so i can't really say that i don't like the the idea because mine kind of not necessarily the same mechanic but it kind of does that already right so uh, I, I mean I re- it really depends on the class that you're playing. I mean some of the ones that have long windups, like you plant it and then something happens. Yeah. It's a little more frustrating when people can just blink out of it. Yeah. Um but at the same time, like other people have it, you know, these things that you know, th- that act within half a second and I can imagine that's really frustrating. Yeah. And I yes. don't know. It's 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 too much controversy sound surrounding that one. Yeah. <laughs> too much controversy. Too much controversy. So let's th- go on. I think game balance should... I, I think you should be able to blink out of stuff, you know, if you have the power to do so. Just like I can leap out of Hades thing or whatever. Well, I, but at the same time, like, I recognize that it can be frustrating. I think this is going to be a power balance issue, not a let's change how things are targeted issue. Yeah, I, I've noticed... As of late, a lot of stuff that I used to be able to backflip out of either interrupts my backflip or, um, I don't know, I just can't do it. Like, I understand some uh, attacks will cause me to lose the ability to do my escape, but in some, uh, yesterday, or day before yesterday, I did a backflip, was halfway up, and it stopped, and I landed down and died. And I... Someone, or if you just died and Well, no, there. somebody hit me after I landed again, and I died. Oh, okay. So it actually was interrupted mid flip. Hmm. Hmm. And I've never had that happen before. Interesting. I st- I still say there there needs to be like a um, kind of in, uh, like in math, right? There an order of how things affect each other. Like yeah. Your your higher abilities always trump the lower abilities. Like yeah. magic w- cards. Like you get instants and interrupts and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. But make it simple. Like twos. You know, can interrupt ones, threes can interrupt twos, fours can interrupt, you know, everything under. Yeah. And then yeah. items can interrupt everything or get you out of everything. Yeah. Like, like that's your your order of what you call it. And that might actually generate some actual, like, place play styles. For instance, maybe there might be a class that has a weak three, but it interrupts everything. Yeah. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It rege- it rege- it's it's like their one. It regenerates fast. You can use it over and over again, but it's a three. Yeah. I don't know. There might be some game design stuff there. Okay, so uh, we got some mail this week. Ultra Blue sends in this. I've got an idea for Smite. Well, good thing it's not for Minecraft because yeah. that's a different show. Uh, I think it would be cool. It's really, really cool. If I can have the ability to change the name and the look of an ability of a god. For example, you could rename Al Kwong's ultimate to be something like train <laughs> or something like that and make it look like a train charging uh, with your head on it. I think that part, right, charging you head on. part of a good PvP game, especially like a fighting game, is being able to recognize what people are doing. Yeah. If you change that then you change the ability to fight. I mean, if, you know, it, in fighting games, I mean, that's all you do. You know, your your goal is to learn the other person's moves and be able to counter them as they're going on. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that's going on in, in Smite as well. I mean, I watch what people are doing. If I, There are things I can see. If, if Ymir starts to lean down, I turn around and run away. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, um, two things with this one. I think, A, how it's worded here... It seems like he's suggesting that each player would be able to create some new thing, and I don't I yeah, that, upload that, it or that, something. That just goes That's beyond just, the scope of Smite. Yeah, it's just yeah. it's too technical and whatever. But the only thing I would say with this is that I could see it on skins, like uh, Amir's Coco Demon, right? Agreed. Like when he does his ult, it does, but you still know what it is, 
and it's easy to learn four things right. uh and it would give them a way to uh you know sell new things so I would hope that they would uh, change the effects for uh, skins. And I think they're doing that for... There was actually a change in this patch of how they're naming the skins. Um, So, like, if they're legendary or or promotional or whatever. So, I hope for the highest tier that they would always do um, that pack. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know the the Golden Kraken is golden, you know? Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Your your Kraken is gold. So, it's not just a clever name. No. Um... And uh, it's not like a golden shower. <laughs> well, then you've got name. then you've got Hercules baseball. You know, yeah. That's I mean, it. I like that. I, I do like that you should be able to skin these abilities, but player defined skins. Eh. Yeah. Now, could you tailor your own experience? Well, the problem there is that might affect ladder stuff. Like you could take the powers you're not afraid of, minimize their their visual impact. Yeah. And then maximize the ones like like raw, yeah, like Al Kwong's, um his wind stuff, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see the edges. What if you made it bright, bright, yeah. orange, right? And so you and it's a column now, so yeah. You know exactly where it is and always and uh, so yeah, that would just get into some hackery that yeah. that no one wants to see in the yeah. game. So um, I think not no, hates this no, idea. No. No. Oh. No. 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 But apparently Wes loves it. So <laughs> got no. some mixed mixed opinions on that one. <laughs> so I think that's uh, about all all we've got in this show today. Unless anybody has something else to mention, talk about. No? Okay then. No. Uh, call us at six six two seven three six eight two six zero. Speak clearly with a strong voice. <laughs> and be uh, sure to use the phrase that pays. Oh God! What's that? I don't know. Smite on! Smite is <laughs> Smite is my favorite podcast. <laughs> uh, email us smite at deadworkers dot com. Be sure to give us iTunes reviews and j- join the party. Go to deadworkers dot com and, and join up. And uh, Dead Workers Party Party next weekend. That's oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so show up. We'll, we'll be doing some uh, Smite tournaments. Yeah, I, I will be here. We got some prizes Woo-hoo! for it. So. Uh, Until next week, smite on! on.